So tomorrow we're doing our very first farmer's market day and we are excited. So let's get these plants ready, get them in the trailer and get going. So tomorrow is our very first farmer's market day and I am excited but nervous at the same time. So I need to get a bunch of these plants in that trailer and get it ready for tomorrow. Uh, I need to get the car hooked up to the trailer and get it all set because tomorrow I need to be there right around 7.15ish, 7, 7.15 uh, to get started. So that's what we're gonna do. So this is a little enclosed trailer I got specifically for doing the farmer's market because those plants on a regular flatbed trailer would just be annihilated by the time we got there. And there is no way I'm going to fit a bunch of those plants in that little bitty Prius. So <laughs> this is what we got. So I have done a little bit of work on it so far. Um, not much. I, I haven't even cleaned it out yet. But uh, so what I did do is I took the axle and flipped it. They had it on the underside um, of the springs there so that it jacked the trailer up. Well, my car is small and so it looked really weird at a weird rake. So I changed that yesterday. So I also got the new lights and wiring and all that. So I did all the wiring myself, all clean run. Nicely done. So that's all done. <clears throat> and then I had to cut the floors a little bit because they were actually rubbing on the tires. So I had to cut this out. They had a little cover over here, which I'll, I'll be putting back on once I extend it. So I just need to make a little extension to come out. What I think I'm going to do is just make a square box just to cover the whole thing. That way I can fit, you know, a couple plants on top of it and butt stuff right up against it without it kind of being at a funky angle. So that'll be easy. I'll get that done. Uh, I still need to clean it out. Also, uh, take off this old crap wood um, and redo these racks a little bit. But, uh, you know. It's good for what I need it for. And for right now, I'm probably only gonna use the floor anyway. So that'd be perfect. So yeah, let's get started. The first thing is first, let's clean this thing out a little bit. And nasty. And windy. Make it so that doesn't happen again. Jeez. <laughs> that was ridiculous. <laughs> All right. Homemade trailer. <laughs> Actually, I forgot. I need to hook it up to the car first.
Okay, now we can load the trailer. Just want to get it kind of swept out a little bit. Get a little bit of the junk picked up and out of the way. screws and stuff like that. I'd rather them not fall out and go right underneath the tire or something. With my luck, that's exactly what would happen. So I'll finish this up and uh, put you on a speed thing. Nice. Just got done with making dinner and eating dinner. So it's a bit later. It's 8.30 now. I'm going to have to... Oh, i got to turn the lights on. Let me go get that. Still a lot to do. I need to run water out there. Got to get some dedicated electric. All kinds of fun stuff. So... This plugged in for out there. And we'll have a light. Let's see, is it on? I can't tell. Oh, that's right. I think it's actually unplugged. I put a power strip out there for the fan and stuff. Yep, that's exactly what it is. Alright. At least it's a bit cooler now, so that's a big plus. Alright, unplug the fan. I'll put you down for a second. Plug the light in. Alright. Much better. A couple lights hung up. Oh, so much to do out here still. Always so much to do, you know? Always so much to do, so. All right, I'm gonna put you guys up on the tripod and get started. So I'm gonna start with the uh, white crepe myrtles. They're some of the taller ones, so they'll be good to pee, put right up against the back. The crepe myrtles are definitely the farthest away. Man. So, the goal is to get all the plants and uh, like chairs, stuff like that, all in tonight. Then first thing in the morning, come out and get a bunch of the Everglades tomatoes that I have growing right over around the corner. We're gonna get a whole big bunch of them for people, for testers. And then uh, we're gonna get some canaf leaves as well, uh, also for taste testers. So I'm hoping that I can just get all this done tonight and then that way in the morning it'll just be easy, we're, we're loaded, we're ready, just do a little bit of harvesting, and we're good. I might even harvest tonight and put the stuff in the fridge. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Depends on how long this takes. It's 8.30 now, plus I have to do a little bit of weeding in some of the pots because I want to do it now, so I don't have to do it tomorrow. You know, just little ones, but pff, takes forever. So, uh... Yeah, back to it. These are the Everglades tomatoes. As you can see, they, they produce like immediately. I mean, these they're just not even in a gallon pot. Um, and these are uh, Florida native and they're really, really good. 
very sweet. This, this is gonna be fun. Loading in, what, three or 400 plants and then tomorrow unloading a whole bunch of them and then loading them back up and then unloading them again. That's gonna be great. What's up, baby? Can I have some ice? What'd you do? I was using my hand for the characters that I was, that I was putting in my roller skates. Uh-oh. So they can drive and then I and then one of them fell off, and then I had to go all the way back, and I was... That hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to help me tomorrow at the farmer's market, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, yep. All right, so you want some ice? Yeah. All right, well, let's run and get you some ice real quick. Okay. Okay, let me stop the camera. Okay, so I supplied... We're good there. We need some more light. Oh, that's gonna help. Oh yeah, that that yeah, that helps a lot actually. Let's see. It has a magnet. So I'd like to put it up high. I mean, I can't ask for much better than that. Holy crap. Like some some of those need replaced. Yeah. Man, you can't do much but just laugh through it, right? Forgot about this one. Jumbo leaf chaya. So this is a uh, jumbo leaf chaya, and this one I have to be real careful pulling a couple of leaves. This one bit me the other day. It's got, they've got some hairs or something on there, kind of like okra, I think. And, uh, man, it hurt. I was itching crazy, so it's got to go. Uh, this one's not staying in my yard. Bye-bye. And we got some uh, Turk's Cap Hibiscus. I'll have to show you these better tomorrow, but this one's really cool. Uh, oh, look at that. I grabbed a uh, blue uh, spur flower, also, aka toilet paper plant. I'll be putting those in. But um, these, I don't believe the leaves are edible, but the, uh, the flower is. They're really good. They're actually extremely sugary. Yeah, like, I'll show you one of these days. Actually... Actually, there's some up front. I'll have to grab some tomorrow. If I remember. So, uh, let me grab one. So, these awesome things, they are blue spur flower, aka toilet paper plant. And uh, they are ridiculously soft. Uh, they are in the mint family, so they smell really good. They have beautiful flowers. I'll put a picture up for you guys. I'm going to have to put something in front of the wheel just to make sure nothing like falls over and goes, Wee! <laughs> I can just imagine somebody following me and a freaking plant just explodes out of the bottom of the trailer. Now that I'm doing the farmer's market, I'm going to be doing it every week and I'm gonna have to be taking cuttings like crazy now. I'm doing seeds and all kinds of stuff. Next we're gonna do the canaf, and I know you can't even really see it, so we'll worry about that tomorrow. But unlike the Turk's cap hibiscus, that is an edible leaf hibiscus and is actually my daughter Evelyn's favorite edible green. 
really, really tasty. Uh, it is hibiscus cannabinus is the scientific name. They also have ridiculously gorgeous uh, flowers and, and everything, and they open like a bunch every single day. So they'll open once and then they're done. And then new ones replace it the next day. It's beautiful. Again, I'll put some pictures up for you guys to see them. I think you get the idea of the loading. So I'm going to stop the loading now and uh, I'll start back up when we're under there and I'm doing uh, some of the weeding and stuff and we'll talk a little bit. Okay, so real quick, uh, I was trying to figure out the fender liners and uh, ha, here's a fun one. So I have these, this four by four just sitting around and uh, yeah. Got a couple 26s and a couple 22s and two screws in each. We're good. That'll be perfect for right now just to make sure nothing gets out. So, and uh, nice and dark. <laughs> hey, neighbor. Yeah, so, uh, can I get back to loading plants and we'll see you soon. All right, for now. We're fully loaded. I'm not gonna do anything on the racks right now. We'll see how these do. Hoping for a good day tomorrow.